Let's talk about data trees, formulas, and mappings. These are all kind of foreign and abstract concepts, but they'll make a lot more sense once we put them into context. And by the end of the video, instead of having this long string of text here, we're actually going to be sending over a date that Google Sheets can use. So let's go right into the recipe. I'm inside of Action 3. And I'm looking at our received time to illustrate some concepts. The first one is mapping. And mapping just refers to how data flows from one step in a recipe to another step in your recipe. And in our case, we can see that received time came from the new email on the right side of the screen. You can see it highlighted when I hover over the received time. Another thing that you'll notice is something called the data tree. The reason that all of this inside the app data is called a data tree is because it kind of resembles a tree with branches. And this can branch off into multiple levels. So that's what the data tree is. And one last thing is data types. In our case, we see that received time is basically a timestamp, right? It has both a date and a time and a time zone. And there are also other kinds of data types. In particular, a string is the most common. It's basically just text. Now, we've already said that this is a timestamp. So how do we convert this into something that's useful in Google Sheets? Because Google Sheets just wants the date. Well, we can use formula mode. If I click on formula here, it says press dot to view suggested formulas. And you can look through the various formulas that might be right for you. We'll just use something very simple that it can accomplish the task. That's called to underscore date. And what that does is to convert a string or a timestamp in this case to a date. And it's just a date. You can customize this as much as you want, but this will be good enough for the purposes of this video. And we've edited this, so what we need to do next is save the recipe. And we want to test this out. So how do we test it out? We'll be rerunning the latest job in just a second. But before we do that, let's get rid of this row of data we have here, because we were checking for duplicates already. And if I rerun this job, it's going to take that same email that came in and rerun it through all of our changed steps. There we go. Now that it's run, you can see that the date has come in here. And this is a date that Google Sheets can actually use. And that's what concepts like formulas and data mapping look like in practice in a real recipe.